Red background. Looks like meat. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dawn of the Dead. Okay. What is going on? All right. Hello. <laughs> what an intro that was. Hello and welcome to another commentary track. We are watching the 78 version of Dawn of the Dead, and I am joined once again by a good friend, Angie. You guys may know her as Lox King. Say hi to the people, Angie. Hey, how's it going? It's what? nice to be back. I'm glad you are back. Thank you for coming back onto the show. Hey, I've never seen this, so I'm pretty excited. Don't know what to expect. Oh, this is a, okay. So this is a is that a radio show or a TV show? It sounds like it looks like there's a lot of panic. What the hell is going on? So I think there's like already like people dying. Yeah. I won't lie. I got I got like subtle crap for saying that same thing where it's like somebody came to me and they were like, hey, what if uh, this amount of people or whatever this person came back to like came back to life and tried to kill you like as a zombie. What would you do? And I was like, I'd kill them. They'd be like, they, they were like, what? That's still human. And I was like, no, because it's going to eat me and turn me into one of them. I'm going to kill them. I'm sorry. I think it would be harder to kill someone that you knew. Yeah, for right sure. Now. What the hell is ha- oh. Oh, okay. Like, the amount of, like, like turmoil is, like, it's ridiculous. It's making me uneasy. I don't think they've explained, like, how long it's been happening, like, if it just started, or when, you know, when did it start, and, uh... I'm pretty sure it's a sequel, because there was the, uh, Night of the Living Dead, uh, I think 1968, I believe. Don't quote me on that, I'm, I'm, I'm checking right now. <laughs> He's giving the bunny ears? What the fuck? <laughs> like, how, like, other people clear paper at him and stuff, and then they say it just gives him bunny ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Alright, so this movie does not pull punches. Alright, this racist is just shooting at everybody who's a minority. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, he's just busting in here, just killing random people. I thought this was supposed to be like, I thought it was a shootout, like a hostile type of thing. Yeah. How realistic is that, though? Like, the effects? Oh shit, the zombies. Yeah, there's... I forgot this is a zombie movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, these effects! <laughs> I like these practical effects, man. Oh my goodness. Holy shit. Oh, they got your guns. That was cool. Oh my god. Oh no. I mean, if everybody there is dead, throw a grenade in there and get the hell out. Something happens to him and we'd be stuck. We'd be stuck. <laughs> <laughs> we'd be stuck. What about you? Where are you headed? Straight up. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? I'm actually curious how long you could fly a helicopter for on a full tank of gas. You got your guy over here falling asleep. Yeah. Like, hey, I know you're tired, but bro, I, I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, 1978 Pennsylvania. That's wild. I feel like once, like, like once, if the uh, zombie apocalypse was to happen, at some point people would be this chill and just like, yeah, people are, you know, come back to life, but it doesn't mean we can't have a good time. Yeah, I think so, especially after it's like been a while and you kind of become more used to it. Oh shit, there's the music. Zombies like, can I get a ride? I like the soundtrack. I'm liking this. It's dope. What would you call that? Is that synth? Damn it. Wow, you're lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Why are you I... standing there? <laughs> Help me! What? Bro, why is she just standing there? The zombie's like 10 feet away! You're good! 
This guy's wrestling with one of them. See, he managed to save himself, and yet the other zombie still isn't even. Right? Look, look. <laughs> Boom! Oh! All right, you have to throw your entire weight into it. I like. guess. <laughs> what was that? Oh, oh, it cut the top. Oh of the shit! <laughs> the wind just no, blew it off. So They're kids. Oh, That's worse, dude. He's shooting kids. That's so fucked. They don't show this type of shit anymore. Why don't you get closer? Oh, they really are. There you go. Okay, that was very That was very irresponsible. <laughs> he keeps stopping him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, let a pro do it, you dumbass. I like how they're trying to like keep it light and, and like have these little funny clips in there. Yeah. It was not what I was expecting whatsoever. Hey, I'm all. That's what I was thinking. Looks like a shopping center, one of those big indoor malls. I'm sorry, have you never seen a mall before? <laughs> Are they not common in 1978? I know. <laughs> A lot of stuff down there that we could use. He looks high as fuck. I think it's just his eyes. He's just up and ready to go. No plan at all. It honestly sounds really fun. <laughs> I played too much Left 4 Dead, or just like, I get, not really COD Zombies, just mostly Left 4 Dead. Like this, is a, this sounds low key fun. Like we're gonna explore the mall. Just like even that alone, like it sounds fun. Like nobody's in it. Let's just like fuck around. Let's run around. Just explore. Like this sounds. This sounds so cool. There's like I'm. See now I'm happy that stigma is gone. Cause now I'm not like thinking. God, this movie sucks. This movie is great. I'm like I'm. I'm literally here sitting here just cheesing. Like enjoying the shit out of this right now. Is that Indiana Jones? What the fuck? Okay, so now this movie is really funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they're trying to be. I can't take this music. So I know. <laughs> They're having fun, and you're jealous. I mean, but then I don't want to be saying going around shooting people is fun. Uh, don't take me out of context. <laughs> Steven's gonna go have fun. Shut up. He's gonna go hang out with the boys. <laughs> I'd wear the fluffiest coat I could find, like the one right there. I'd be wearing that shit, but yes, I'm a pimp. <laughs> he brought a wheelbarrow! <laughs> you gotta go upstairs, remember? Yeah, right? Uh oh. Uh, this guy's gonna ruin it, or. I don't, I don't know. I have a bad feeling about it. Hopefully, he learned to shoot in the head, though. You're shooting at shadows, you idiot! I mean, even I'm disoriented, because I have no idea where the hell the zombie is. Thank you. Get close, shoot him in the head. You idiot. I still beat him in the head with the pistol, though. Of course! Oh no, help! Is he gonna suplex the goddamn zombie? <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh my god! I'm really trying to show, like, a diverse. Like, group of zombies? Yeah. What? Bullshit! You did not just stand there. Oh, oh boy. Jesus. Oh, in the ear? <laughs> in the ear? What the fuck? Who stabbed somebody in the ear? <laughs> I mean, all right. I not that. No, I wasn't either. <laughs> the Buddha, he knows. He's smart, even after death. I'm surprised these vents can support multiple like humans. Yeah, I wonder if they're built for that in mind, just in case. I feel like they have to be. Wait, why can't she close it all the way? What's going on there? Yeah, true. Like. Unless he knows how to suddenly turn doorknobs. You see, now it closes all the way. I don't understand that part. I'll just shove it in his face. He's <laughs> 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 like Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so menacing. Holy shit, this is a good ass movie. Oh my god. That's interesting. Yeah, this looks almost like a subtext for just like people normally in a. Like, I heard that this was, like, an allegory in a way for people just, like, in daily life. They just 
wander aimlessly, just buying things and shit like that. Whoa. Who is this guy? He, I don't know if he's like a villain or if he's like the world's greatest badass. I like that jacket. It's so, it's pretty fresh. That furry like part around the neck really, t yeah, that part next around the neck really ties it together because then you get some aviators with that. Whoo! Being so large and all. Well, they told me it was a midget force. They needed somebody to look up to. <laughs> That's not a funny joke to laugh at, but that was kind of funny. What is this music? It makes you think of like it's making me think of like a very like happy TV show from the 70s. Uh, no, I'm thinking of a game. What game would you think would be attached to this? I don't know, like some sort of uh, adventure game, like the old Zelda games. Yeah, I could see it. Why did you let him touch your face that long? <laughs> <laughs> it was so sensual. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking, like, what, when, when will like things go south? Whoa, items! They can pick up items. Oh, that's oh also God. that's also been something I've been curious about because people would say like, oh, if they bite you, that means that you become infected, right? So what yeah. happens like if their blood gets on you? Too. like what happens then like if the if the blood somehow like if a speck falls on your eye and you try to wipe it off obviously it came contact with your eye would you be infected do you think like he's like slowly like mentally just kind of like I'm not saying yeah. Go, like yeah like going like slightly crazy and then they gotta put him down later his personality seems a bit different now than when you know he's first introduced yeah definitely would have been a uh, a good a good touch to have his vehicle plow into somebody just so there's like one person just to be like, yeah, now he doesn't give a fuck. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Whoever's responsible for these practical effects deserves all my money. Yeah, they're pretty good. I mean, it's crazy what people can do nowadays. Right, but then for some... <laughs> Look, like Jim Carrey. Don't get bit, don't get bit, don't get bit. Drop him. There you go. Okay, Miss Crackshot. Out of nowhere. But they're glad they gave her a gun now. Right? Just keep climbing and drive the goddamn truck. Whoa, okay, Mr. Gymnast. And you're dead. Oh, no! <laughs> Get a right hook. Well, it was nice knowing you, buddy. You were actually pretty damn funny. And a cool guy. And now this guy's got a gun. Just put some alcohol on it. It'll be fine. I'm curious what my, what, like, my Hispanic family would say in a moment like this. Eh, no, it's all right. You just a little band. You know, you got a little cut here. It's okay. Stop crying. You'd be like, yo, you no, want my family's too dramatic. <laughs> my family's too mean. Everybody would be screaming, except for the person who got hurt. <laughs> That's crazy. My family would just be like, either laughing or calling me a baby. <laughs> like, me, uh, you want me to give you something to cry about? Oh. Yes, this is Left 4 Dead now. I mean, vice versa. Yeah, right? Like, they're gonna go gas up the car. I swear, like, Left 4 Dead has to be inspired by this. I'm sure it is. I'm sure at least the first episode, or the, uh, the first chapter definitely is. <laughs> These mannequins. Whoa! Oh my god! Right now, now they just need to drive through the front doors. Oh. <laughs> what is this music? <laughs> I really like the soundtrack. Uh huh. Keeps me on my toes. Not with the fresh food. You got meats and shit in there. <laughs> what? Like get all that food out first, my dude. But I mean, where else would you put it then? I guess. Yeah. I, I don't know. I would stuff as much food in the other room as possible if there's another freezer. If not, psh, I'm cooking tonight. It's not worth. Not really worth anything right now, though. Yeah. We're rich. <laughs> Do you think uh, money would lose its value in a, in a situ scenario like this? I mean, I think yes, up to a certain point. Like, I think once once things start to become a bit more scarce, but right now, like, they're still at the beginning of it, so there's nobody around, there's no laws, so they can take anything. Is that a wheel of cheese? Yeah. Yo! Look at all this food! What they should do, though? is start planting if they're going to be staying here, though. That's, That's what I was saying. Damn! Oh what the heck? Is that bread? Yeah. He's got the pimp coat on! Yes! 
Det är jag att pimpa ut så här! Yes! My fantasy has come true. This movie is now complete. I like, I, I really like this movie now. I don't like that the morphine looked like little milk packets. Wow, you guys are great carpenters. Holy shit! It's a good thing too that they have, because he, he established how long it takes, three days. So then you don't get kind of confused. Like, if you, like for anybody who's been paying attention, this is all happening within three days. Because if I didn't know that, I think this has been like maybe a couple like weeks, if not maybe uh, close to a month now. But they're, they're, they do pretty goddamn well for three days. Is he floating? What the fuck? I'm curious of your backstory, man. What happened to your eye? Like, yo, this entire movie has been like, just damn, right between the eye. Um, I've, I've just been seeing mannequins after mannequins just getting abused. Are they having a fancy dinner? That's sparkling cider. It's not wine. No, I'm just messing with you. I don't know. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm I don't know how you can tell, but okay. <laughs> So are they just gonna be awkward now because he tried to propose and she was like, no. Oh, I thought that was a mannequin. <laughs> I really thought that I was- I lost the tip for a second because so still. <laughs> I was like, why are you sleeping with a mannequin, dude? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did a pretty good job making this- oh, Wow, they did a really good job making this look like a house. It slides? That's so cool! What? I don't know, it's gonna, it's gonna like, get pretty boring now. Like, they don't- have much else to do this might be because of the quote-unquote really long version <laughs> damn bro i mean then again if i tried to propose and she said no I, i'd feel some type of way but he's gonna be like shut the fuck up i'm turning the tv on as he looks at her <laughs> <laughs> and peter's just in the middle is that al pacino he has a switchblade comb you're such a you're such a douchebag. Oh my god. What are you the Hell's Angels? What the fuck is this? They're giving bikers such a bad rap now. How about you don't wear these bright ass colors? Well Angelina, there you go. Getting kinda of boring. Well now here's some drama. They gotta fight off a goddamn militia. Woo! He's got his combat gear ready. He's got a sniper ready. Damn, that is a lot of them. Oh my god. That's, yeah, that's cool. It's can't really take this long to set seriously. No, you can't. To be honest, I'd lead them all in, right? Once they're in, kill the power. Like, kill the lights. Because uh, I feel like if you've been in this, like, long enough, or you like, a couple months now, you can kill the lights and still be kind of, like, aware of where the hell you are. Because then you could just get, like, a melee weapon, like, a knife or some shit, take them out one by one. Or let the zombies just creep up on them and just, I don't know, like, attack them. I don't know, I, I think way too long about what I do. <laughs> Yeah, let's go to the denim aisle. <laughs> Hugs. <laughs> Hugs. They're really robbing a zombie. That's... What the heck? What the fuck is... What? <laughs> I thought that was a tomato for a second. What a waste of pies. What are they, pranksters? What the fuck is this? Oh. What? What's this dude wearing a sombrero for? <laughs> He's got a katana! <laughs> This guy can barely shoot now. This guy's got a fucking halberd! I think, like, psychologically, if something like this were to happen, then you'd probably end up really greedy because you feel like you have to hoard. The more stuff you have, the more likely you'll be able to survive and you've got a bunch of stuff. Yes, take this clown down. Take fake ass Al Pacino down. <laughs> oh, I guess not. Oh my god! Oh, what the heck? I cannot take this umbrella guy seriously. Senor. <laughs> like, the red, like, they're all bikers, and then he just totally stands out. <laughs> Why? Why'd they do that? Like, this is these are the moments where I wish, like, Goku was real and just, like, immune to, to bullets. Just to show up and fuck everybody up. Like, these guys are just assholes and it's bothering me. <laughs> You're such a <laughs> what? That wasn't necessary. <laughs> what? The elevator comes down. He goes, "Hey, you're there!" Pow. All right, that was actually pretty cool. Kill him. Kill pirate Al Pacino. Mister, what are you? Why are you getting your blood pressure checked? You're gonna die. What the <laughs> Look, he really <laughs> ran here. Why the fuck 
would you do that? <laughs> oh my god. The movie is awesome. That's the thing, they have too much red. There's like, you know, there's blues in there too, man. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. I know you liked him. I know you loved him. But you still declined his offer to marry you. That some bro guy was honestly an idiot though. He said, I really need to go check my blood pressure. I'm terrified right now. Robo chicken! There he is. Oh, he changed fast. He did. You think maybe it was because he blood out faster? And now he's leaving them. That's why. The guy with the machine gun is there. He's trying to go back to his honey. He's aiming the he's aiming the gun at himself though. Like you could at least lock the door. How, how about y'all leave? Hmm? Yeah, just leave. <laughs> he closed the door like he lives there. That's so sad. Leave now. <laughs> Please leave, okay? And you're still pregnant too. Alright, right, so then she leaves, but he stays. For why? Why did you stay? Dude, you could have went! Yeah, all he said was that, was that he doesn't want to go. You left a pregnant mother by herself. Yeah. Dude. Kind of messed up. Cause like, even if she lands, what's she gonna do then? She's still by herself, dude. It's a poor choice. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Take these- Take them out! Where's the knife? You don't have a knife? Thank you! Oh my god, you're about to be the biggest idiot. She's just about to leave, too. Now he's gonna have to Captain America that shit and gri grab the handle. <laughs> He's like, I want the big one. <laughs> they end it with this music. <laughs> robot chicken, robot chicken music. <laughs> I can see, I can hear it now. Oh my god. Okay. So I re oh Tom Savini. That's why this shit is so good. Okay. So what did you think? <laughs> I think it was. I can see how like so many other. Like so many other stuff has been kind of inspired mm -hmm. of this. Like I swear, I kept thinking of uh, I kept thinking of Left 4 Dead. For one. Like the whole helicopter scene and yeah, especially like the mall and the car. I'm so happy. Like I'm really glad this movie was like as awesome as it is. Yeah, and I like that it wasn't too serious. I like that they, they, they had a lot of funny clips in there. Exactly. It's not like an end of the world, take yourself seriously type shit. And the, the remake did try that for a little bit. There was a whole section where it was just like goofs. But then it went back to trying being serious again. Um, I do like the fact that this cast is smaller. Because then you got to know them a lot more. Especially over two and a half hours. Compared to the other one where there's like, what, like 15 yeah. people? People are dying left and right, you're just like, okay, you're gonna die. I know you're gonna die because you're not the main character. Like, this is definitely a really good movie. Holy shit, I never thought I'd like it so much. Yeah, I enjoyed it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I like it, and I'm, I'm not one to really... Like, I'm, I'm pretty picky when it comes to zombie movies. <laughs> But if anybody asks, what zombie movie has the best soundtrack, you're going to be like, look. Okay, <laughs> Dawn of the Dead, 1978, best soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really like it. I think, because usually when I like zombie movies, I like them to be serious and scary, so. This is a good flavor, like, a, like this is a really cool new thing. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice twist. I did think that it was... A bit, um, a bit too comfortable or like easy for the characters like, because they were in a mall, so everything was so convenient, and you're kind of seeing only one setting for such a long time. So at at some points, I felt kind of bored. I think. Um, yeah, there was that one section, like after the whole pimp coats, after that whole little part. Then it just got to be like an episode of some soap opera or some sitcom. It was just very serious and very kind of just like... Like, honestly, I, I, for the most part of the movie, 
like maybe 90 to 95 percent the pacing was good because when it came to character stuff the pacing was slow but then when it went to the action or like to like we got to get this done the pacing sped up it was like all right it's like a montage almost yeah it's not bad i liked it word word i can't wait to talk about this later I can't, I, I'm actually- Yeah, I got I'm, some new movie references now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be using that for a while. Like, look, okay? Uh, Spider-Verse has a pretty good soundtrack, but it can't compare to Dawn of the Dead, okay? And then uh, I don't wanna hear, okay? All original music, except for the- <laughs> I do wonder where that came from, though. But, <laughs> but I heard it and I was just like, the first, very first part is going to think really quick again. Well, thank you, Angelina, for coming over. Well, not really coming over, but thank you for coming back into the show, watching Dawn of the Dead, which is on YouTube, by the way. Watch it while you still can for free. It's just a little, it's the it's the extremely long version, I think the guy called it. Yeah, surprised to see it on YouTube. That, that saved me time. Thanks a lot, everybody. Peace All out. Right.